Hello, I just got out of the theater from watching Morbius and I'm gonna go ahead and give my quick out of theater review for it. Now, there won't be any spoilers, this will just be my general thoughts. But yeah, going into this movie, my expectations honestly were pretty low. Especially after hearing about uh, certain things in the trailers not being in the movie and also just from hearing a lot of negative reviews and opinions about it online. So yeah, going into this movie, I was honestly pretty worried. But after seeing it, I don't think it's as bad as some people are making it out to be. But at the same time, this movie, it's honestly not that great. I mean, it's not going to be hailed as one of the better Marvel movies. It's honestly, if you were to rank all the Marvel movies, it'd be towards the bottom half, most likely. But at the same time, overall, I thought it was a decent movie. I had a decent time with it. I do have some issues with it, but there are things that I do like, though. A common complaint that I've seen with the movie, and not everyone's saying this, but I have, but I have seen some people say it, is that the movie, some people are calling this movie boring. I didn't really feel that. I don't recall any moments during the movie where I felt bored or felt like parts were dragging on for too long. But that's just me, though, and if so, that's fine. But again, don't recall ever feeling bored during the movie, but... Also, you do have the characters. Honestly, the only characters that I felt invested in were, of course, Jared Leto as Morbius. I enjoyed J Jared Leto as Morbius. I liked him in the role. And I'd be totally cool with seeing more of him in the future. But, that, but I don't know how other people would feel about that. But for me, I liked Morbius. I liked the character, and I would be willing to see more of him. But then you have Matt Smith, of course, as Milo. Uh, Morbius's childhood friend and you can tell he had fun with the role and he was definitely one of the more interesting characters in the movie when it comes to the rest of the characters honestly or the side characters they were either average or forgettable for me I mean for me many of the side characters there just wasn't enough development for me to really care about them which did somewhat kind of hurt the movie for me a little bit but also, you do have the action scenes, which honestly are just okay. The action scenes are fine, just really just not a whole lot to write home about, but that's just my opinion. If you had to point to maybe a standout action scene, maybe the action scene on the boat, but even that um, is not, I wouldn't say, rank as one of the best uh, action scenes when it comes to action scenes in Marvel movies, but... And there is something in the in that in that action scene that did that I wasn't a big fan of. Uh, there was one moment during that fight scene where you get this close up of Morbius fighting this other guy, and just that part of the action scene just kind of felt like a, a, a clustered mess. I'm not sure how else to describe it. Maybe when you guys see when for the for those who haven't seen it, maybe when you see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, overall. Uh, the action scenes again were just fine. They're okay. they're okay, but uh, also the CGI. There are moments with the CGI where uh, could have been a little bit better. Some of the CGI kind of looked kind of early to mid two thousand superhero movies type of stuff. It kind of gave me that kind of vibe, not in a good way. But even the weaker moments with the CGI didn't bother me to the point of making me mad. So. At least there's that, I guess. But uh, then you have the overall story. Um, the story, the plot, fairly straightforward, fairly simplistic. Some people might have a problem with that. I know some people are more into the more complex storytelling. And of course, I would do like that too. But I did, personally didn't have a problem with this movie having a more simplistic slash straightforward approach when it comes to the, the storytelling. But... Also, you do have two post credit scenes, and I've seen these post credit scenes actually get some flack too, uh, saying that they're some of the worst post credit scenes out there. I mean, yeah, they're pretty lame. I mean, we got to be honest here. The action scenes, or not, not the action scenes. The post credit scenes are overall pretty lame. I mean, they do have me intrigued a little bit for what's to come in the future but at the same time they don't have me like pumped to the point where like oh man i'm so pumped for what they're going to do next i'm so excited for what could happen in a later movie and not, it didn't get me that excited but again got me intrigued a little bit but at the same time 
these post credit scenes are pretty lame, especially when you compare to compare them to previous post credit scenes that we've seen in previous Marvel movies. But yeah, overall, uh, this movie is it's decent. I mean. I wouldn't say that it's bad or terrible. I personally wouldn't go that far. Because, again, there are things that I do like about the movie. But it's by no means great. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what to rate this movie. I'm honestly in the range of, like, 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Or maybe 6.75. I can meet in the maybe, maybe meet in the middle there, potentially. But, yeah, overall, this movie, it's not that great. But there are things that I do like. But... There are some major flaws that I do have with the movie also. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and end things off with that. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How does it compare to the Venom movies for you personally? For me, honestly, I might like those Venom movies more. One and two more than this. Of course, my mind couldn't change on that on any, at any time. But, yeah, um... If you've seen the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't seen it, let me know where your expectations are at. Are you excited? And all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe. Have a nice day. And take care.